sure you can hear the tiller going in the background. Austin's working on another area of the yard right now, but we're getting ready to bring it over here to what is our cut flower garden. What you're looking at is the remnants of our cut flower garden from last year. Unfortunately, the snow came a little early, caught me off guard, and I wasn't able to get it cleaned out, so I just left it until this spring. I'm getting ready to work on getting some of the remnants out while Austin works on tilling up the new area. As you can see, I've marked a white line here, and we're gonna be extending the bed out, about doubling the size, to grow more flowers this year. Hopefully we can get it done before the rain comes today. standing in my front coat closet right now, which is a little unusual, but I am starting dahlia tubers in some small containers filled with potting soil. Um, and I decided to do this after watching Aaron over at the Impatient Gardener channel um, do this last year. I was inspired to try it this year. I will put a link down below to her video about starting dahlia tubers early, but I ordered a lot of dahlia tubers this winter that came in. Um, and so I was excited to get them in soil, get them warmed up and get them ready to plant out a little bit ahead of time. And so right now <clears throat> I've covered them with soil and they don't need light. And I wanted to make sure that the animals didn't get into them. So I thought, well, I'll just tuck them on some empty shelves that I have in a closet and let them do their thing. And they've been sitting here for about a week and some of them are starting to sprout up through the soil. So I'm gonna show you those and then I will take those out and give them a little water um, and set them somewhere that they can get a little more sunlight until they're ready to go outside, which hopefully will be here in the next week or so. 
All right, so here are the containers, and I didn't have enough um, pots that were large enough to put these in, so I actually got these at Dollar Tree. They're about five inches by five inches and maybe four inches deep or so, um, but they were three for a dollar, so we drilled some holes in the bottom. Here, I'll show you one really quick. We've got three holes in there. Austin put three at a time on the drill press and just popped those holes in. But we've got some tubers that have started to sprout and are sending their shoots up. So these are the ones that I'm going to take out today and go ahead and get them watered in a bit. I'll show you down here. We've got some more. A lot of them are still working on breaking dormancy and sprouting through. I have a third shelf up here with a few more. So we'll grab the ones with the greens coming out and get them started with some water. those watered in and I think they're looking good um, it's a little chilly out today so I'm gonna let them drain and then I'll bring them back inside but I'm really pleased with how they look so far when they arrived a couple weeks ago a lot of the tubers already had active eyes that were growing so I wanted to try to get them into soil fairly quickly and after just about a week almost exactly half of them have already broken through the surface I have 29 tubers going and I've got 14 of them right now that are out. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up shot of them. I've got a wide variety here and I'll go over them when I actually get them planted out um, throughout the season when we look at them. But I'm so excited to see how well they're doing so far. And while we're out here on the deck I'll give you a quick little mini tour. This here is a hydrangea. You can see there's a couple dried panicles that I left on. I still need to trim off um, from over the winter, but it is leaving out. It is doing well um, And unfortunately I left it in this container because I wasn't hundred percent sure where I was gonna put it Permanently, but this is actually something I got free off of Facebook marketplace last year. Someone had a New home that they bought and there were some plants that were struggling uh, This is a panicle style. I'm assuming it's a limelight. It didn't put on too much color um, on the blooms at the end of the season. They were fairly white and a little bit green. Oh, here comes the dog. Good morning, poppers. How are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. You getting a piece of wood? Huh? No, you're not going down there with your piece of wood, mister. Come here. Um, anyways, back to the story about the hydrangea. It was in a very shaded area. Lots of mature trees in that neighborhood. Um, so everything was very shady and this guy was struggling and she said she hated to see it go, but she wanted someone to try to save it rather than just digging it out and pitching it. Um, so she was offering some plants for free on Facebook and it was really early spring last year. Uh, the ground was still fairly frozen. So my mom and I went over, dug it out, managed to get some roots cut, um, got it in the Jeep, brought it back Back home and we're able to put it in a pot. I hooked it up to our drip irrigation system um, for our railing baskets which are right here and so it did really well last year and I wasn't sure how it was going to do over the winter if it was going to survive or not. Um, being in this container and being elevated like this up on the deck it didn't really have any warmth from the ground so I'm excited. Now I know that this year we have tilled in uh, what's going to be our formal four square garden and I'm going to have a lavender hedge around each one of the quadrants and this is going to go right here in this far quadrant this spring. So hopefully here soon we'll be able to get it planted out once we get everything laid out exactly where we want it. Uh, we're going to be putting in gravel pathways and edger stones and bringing in some compost to top dress the area. So I'm excited to get this hydrangea out here um, and I think I've decided instead of trying to get four matching hydrangea standards, especially since I'm not 
100% sure exactly which variety this is. Um, I am going to try to do a Four Seasons themed garden. And so my plan is to put a lollipop blue spruce here, which is an evergreen. So that's going to represent my winter interest. And then clockwise, of course, since we're going through the seasons, I am going to put a lilac standard here. I'm hoping to get a reblooming lilac though, so that it blooms multiple times throughout the season and offers lots of interest. And then over here, I'm planning on getting a, um, some kind of a pink knockout rose standard, I think, to represent the summer. And then here we'll have the hydrangea, which usually blooms a little bit later in the season um, and has some beautiful fall color on the leaves. So I think that that will work out perfectly. I'm so excited to see how this evolves this spring um, and throughout the whole gardening season. I have a bunch of guara seeds started inside to underplant the standards behind the lavender. So it's going to take a little while for everything to grow in, but I think it's going to be a beautiful, soft, um, fragrant kind of area. Eventually, we are going to have a circle of gravel in the middle with the four um, gravel pathways coming off the side of it and so I'm hoping that eventually we can get a nice fountain installed in the middle. You'll notice in the tilling portion of the video that we had this little resin fountain out there in the middle. I was just kind of sitting it out there to see what it would look like but it's obviously a little too small for the area. I'd love to get one with a pool at the bottom of it so it's got lots of beautiful splashing sounds um, but for a future day. I just want to show you this beautiful growth that's coming in. This is mojito mint. Um, it's a variety, it's very sweet, it's very fragrant, and it is perfect for making a mojito. I love it. I'm so glad that it's coming back. I had multiple herbs in this container last year, but since mint tends to be so invasive and spready, it took over and I am just gonna let this whole pot be dedicated to mojito mint this year.